Mr. Antilotti, what's happened in these last four days? And can we say that this evening you gave everything, your heart, you suffered somewhat, um, you were pretty clear-minded, which is what you asked for yesterday, apart from in a couple of moments of the game, um, you know, perhaps towards the end of the game, but that's quite human anyway, isn't it? Well, what's happened? What's happened? Um, the team's aware of the issues that we've um, been encountering and over the last few weeks or so, and I think we're beginning to improve, um, to leave those problems behind. We're showing a lot of commitment, a lot of hard work, a lot of character and personality, a whole range of factors. And I think, as I already have said, uh, I think that um, I've seen that the team's definitely still alive. Not just the result, but the team's alive. We can still do better, of course, um, in the Serie A in particular. Yes, um, a couple of quick things. Can you s tell us a little bit about um, Alan's performance today? Um, I think that um, I thought that he was probably the best player on the pitch for Napoli. And um, do you think that um, now this uh, could uh, pave the way for uh, a solution to be found on a Friday um, when you get back to um, Napoli when you speak to the president? Um, well, yes, I have spoken to the president as it happens. Um, he's really pleased. Um, he's thanked the um, players for their efforts. I think Alan did what he's done in the past. He played um, extremely well, just as he did against um, AC Milan. I think he was probably the best player on the pitch then, and he was again tonight. And he's, I think he's back. He's back to his best level, absolutely. I think he's um, showing that he's a player who's indispensable uh, for us. So do you think that the um, president will bear this in mind then on Friday? Do you think this will help the situation? Well, we'll have to see over the next couple of days, won't we? The uh, president wants to speak with all of the group, all of the players, and so I believe that this is a positive sign, um, absolutely, on everyone's behalf. Uh, Mr. Ancelotti, a couple of things. First of all, when exactly did you decide to play Di Lorenzo in that position? And then secondly, do you think that, and we've said this often, of course, um, after good um, performances in the Champions League, do you think that this could represent um, uh, for your group um, the turning point? You know, um, from a mental point for the group, can it be the turning point and help you to improve matters in Serie A? Well, I think I said this yesterday. It's true to say that we've been playing pretty well in the domestic league. We've lost points in the league. We probably shouldn't have lost. But this also, I have no doubt whatsoever, this team will get back to playing at its best level. And I think that's what we began to do today. And I think each and every game, um, you know, helps us to um, uh, reach this level once again. There are lots of expectations around this game, um, not just this game, but the game in Milan at the weekend as well. You know, um, perhaps some people thought that, you know, um, we'd concede quite a good few goals, but that hasn't happened either. And um, even though we haven't been playing at our very best, we've always been very solid. And, and what about the um, oh, but fact that... Um, well, Mario Rui was able to play, um, um, otherwise we would have had someone else on the left. Um, Mario Rui did play, and um, he was back, um, coming back after quite a while as well, of course. He played a great game, and then I decided yesterday, and then um, when we saw that Mario Rui was OK, then we could do um, something different um, with Lorenzo. I just wanted to ask uh, whether... Um, can Anfield represent the turning point for you this season? Well, I don't know. I mean, I knew that we were going to play well. I was convinced up against a team like Liverpool. Awesome team, fantastic team. And, you know, you're going to suffer against a team like that. But we know that we can create them problems as well, and, um, perhaps because of the way that we play. So I was certain that we'd play well. Um, but <laughs> just because you play a great game against a team like Liverpool doesn't mean that you get a good result. I think today perhaps um, the um, game wasn't particularly aesthetically pleasing, as it were, but we were certainly um, clear-minded, clear we were solid, and um, our aim um, wasn't to put in a fantastic performance. Our objective was to get through to the next round, and we still need another point to do that, of course.
Well, Liverpool um, had, had won all of its games thus far in uh, Liverpool, um, and yet, uh, how do you explain that Napoli is a, capable of putting in great performances, wonderful in defence this evening, for example, and then on other occasions, it's almost as if it has a blackout um, during a game. I mean, even before the so-called mutiny affair, as it were. Well, listen, if I knew, if I knew why that happened, I mean, it's difficult to put your finger on it, I think. It's difficult to find an explanation. Um, you know, um, I think proxy it's something which is in the players' minds, a, a mental thing. I mean, it's not really tactical, it's not physical, but um, let's just say that for... Uh, or, and this goes for everyone, by the way. You know, we ought not to try to spend too much time looking for what's the most effective system, least effective system. But ultimately, it's down to the players and how they give value to the system, regardless of what it is, 4-3-3, 4-3-2-1. Uh, today, uh, we played 5-3-1. Um, well, no, it's not true. We didn't do that. And um, we didn't play with five defenders. Uh, Di Lorenzo, I think, played a game where... Um, he did the same kind of work that callahan has been doing for quite a lot of games and so far this season, both in defence and um, in the midfield. So I think that um, you need a lot of courage, show a lot of character, personality, show great mentality. I think this is a kind of a team that we have that, you know, we, we lose um, ourselves a little bit very quickly, but we find ourselves quickly as well, and that's a good thing. Well... Looking at the last three games that you've played, I mean, you look like a different team. You look like a different team um, you know, compared to the team that played the previous three games against Genoa and Milan. Can you just say that boils down to mentality? Because today was the real Napoli, wasn't it? It was a real Napoli. Well, I think that mentality, uh, motivation, um, and then perhaps we didn't have quite the same pressure. We didn't feel the same pressure, perhaps. Oh, I didn't certainly didn't want the players to feel under pressure this time around. So I think it was important to bear in mind that you're really lucky to be playing here at Anfield. It's a great fortune for everyone to be able to play here. It's a special place to play. I remember in Genk, um, you, you, you said that um, you liked um, your team when um, um, they're under siege and um, they um, closed themselves in defence and um, I think that's what you did today. Do you think you can improve even? But what about set pieces? Set pieces was your downfall again. Well, we knew and we were structured and we had a great shape today. We had tall centre players in the middle of the pitch um, but, you know, it was a deep cross and um, perhaps we could have avoided that and perhaps we should have pushed up a little bit further and had our taller players um, f closer towards their um, uh, players um, but, you know, let's be honest, it's a small detail, and ultimately Liverpool didn't deserve to um, uh, lose this evening. And we also know Mr Klopp's on his way, so we're on our way to now. Thank you.